I've taken the floor here so you can see a little bit of the inside. This is the center uh, uh, channel where they really want a lot of wires to run. But got a few problems with it, not the least of which is there's your control arm. And as you can see, there they have you put a, uh, a bushing in there. And so all your wires running out to the ring have to make a 90 degree turn and then follow down the channel. There's too much of a chance there, I think, that that uh, wire is going to interfere with that control. There's line. another problem over here. And that is, you can see where I've got the bushings running uh, out in from the wing for the uh, strobe wire. There's a mount that you build that goes on the back of the 704. And that means it's really, really difficult for the wire to get around that mount and back into that bushing there. It could be done. Seems to me I'd have to provide some sort of chafing protection there, however. And so I'm going to look for another way to do this. Besides making that hard right turn near that control arm, and maybe exposing the wire down at the uh, passenger side stick, and maybe interfering with that part of the control arm. Okay, now here's the destination right here. This is the Whalen Comet 6, System 6, whatever it is, uh, strobe, which I've mounted just behind the uh, baggage uh, compartment on a little mount that Vans sells. And no, that rudder cable really doesn't interfere with it, although I may put some chafing protection on there. But as you can see, the wires have to come out here and then somehow end up in that center channel, again, without interfering with the bell crank. What I'm thinking of doing is running another hole and a uh, bushing under the baggage compartment on the right side of the plane for wires coming out of there. Take a easy 90 degree turn, I guess, up through the baggage area, under there, and then down, go out at an angle, avoiding all of the control panel or the uh, control sticks. So here's what I did. I got on my handy computer. Now, I'd love to tell you there's Wi-Fi here in the hangar, but there isn't. This is actually a set of uh, pictures that my good uh, friend Kevin Ferris sent me, Kevin from uh, Nebraska, and he didn't like it either, where those uh, wires take a hard uh, right or a left uh, up by the control column because it can affect, it can hit the control column when, when you're in your full aft elevator position. So what he did, and you kind of see it over there on the left, is he came up and he went, uh, I think he went up the center channel, but he came out into the, uh, under the uh, floorboards uh, down through here and then up, rather than go all the way up here and then out and contact this control column here. It's a pretty spiffy try. I think he came through the regular, uh, the regular hole there and then took a right, uh, yeah, that would be a right there, came up here, went along there and then out. Kevin's a smart guy. I'm going to do what he did. Well, you can see what I did there was I drilled a, uh, I think it's a 7 16 uh, hole. Not easy to do here because of how close it is for a uh, 1 quarter inch inside diameter bushing. That's a smaller bushing, but I'm only going to run one wire. It's just a quarter inch power uh, strobe cable. And then what I'm going to do is stagger it across and then bring it out. Okay, so here's my tip. Figure out your wiring runs before you build your fuselage, especially when you're putting your ribs in. You know how... <laughs> Take a look. I've staggered them. Here, there, 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 and eventually out. <laughs> it's pretty hard to get... Well, you can get a right angle drill in there, but you can't get a unit bit in there unless you've got some kind of nice fancy drill that allows a unit bit in a right angle drill. So you might want to just figure out what your wiring run for your strobe is going to be ahead of time. Another thing to uh, keep in mind is this. This is the hole that comes with uh, the kit. I mean, this is where they want you to run your wire. And, and again, as you can see before, this is what would normally get you into trouble because it's too much, too close, I think, to the uh, control panels. I put it right here. As a matter of fact, since I'm so smart, when I built the wings, I put that in that position. So this would be, uh, I think that's the right wing there. 
uh, is that the left wing? I can't really tell. But you can see I put it in like the 5 o'clock position, which would be about the 7 o'clock position once you put it in place. So I'm going to draw a hole there, and then you're going to see why that's such a work of, uh, well, pure genius. The only other piece of advice I have for you is if you have an iPod, it's always good to have like ZZ Top going. Maybe John Mellencamp, Springsteen, something like that. All right, let's make a hole. not to like about a unit bit. All right. Now, I made a small, this is gonna be a smaller bushing because the only wire I've got coming out of here is this strobe cable. The uh, true track servo is in my right wing. It's gonna come back in through here. This wire isn't gonna be here. And there's one light, uh, two uh, landing light and uh, the nav light that needs to come through here. But that's gonna come up through that hole there. That's gonna go in the front. This wire is gonna be all out of here now. So there's no chance it's going to interfere with the control uh, mechanism at all. I also took that blue stuff off. It's only been, what, five years? Okay, so there you see my uh, bushing. One thing I like to do, by the way, is on my bushings, I like to put a little RTV around them. I really don't want them spinning in the hole at all. And I know they don't anyway, but just in case. Now I'm going to vacuum out uh, all the shavings here. I pulled out the wire. By the way, if God really wanted us to build RVs, he wouldn't have given us knuckles. How to come out? Pretty good. There you can see it coming in and then angling across. And then the only really difficult turn is right there, and that's not so bad. Down the center tunnel. And to the box right here. Put some ADO clamps here somewhere, and that'll take care of that one. And now I'll just cut, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 feet of wire, simulate it going out to the wing, and then work on the left side. Now the left side is going to be a little difficult. I have manual trim. That's one less hole to run it through. I'll think of something. Now it's time for a little motivation. RV9, probably just warming up the oil, but that's flying. Someday, 